So I'm just going to talk to you now about line brushing. Um, this is a really um, good technique if your dog is particularly tangly or you've got a really long coated dog or also particularly good for double coated dogs where you're trying to get rid of a lot of undercoat. Um, line brushing is literally, as it sounds, you're, you're kind of lifting the hair and brushing along in a line. Um, it's usually best to start at the lowest point. So on a, a, a woolly dog like this where he's got wool all down his legs, um, you start at the foot and you're literally pulling the hair back so you've got a line across and you're just brushing the little bit of hair that you can see. Let a bit, once you know that's completely not free, you let a bit more hair down so you've got another line um, brushing it through. And again, so you're just going up the leg like that, creating um, little lines where you can actually see the skin, that's the key thing, um, and then releasing the hair once you've got that bit all nice and smooth and going on to the next point. Obviously with some dogs that aren't woolly like this down the leg, um, you, probably, you'd probably be starting somewhere up, up the, um, the rump. Um, and so literally you're pushing one set, the top bit of hair out of the way so you've got a line across. Um, it's not so easy to tell on Dex, he's just had a haircut so his hair's not, not quite long enough for demonstrating this. Um, but create your line, um, brush the hair out. Um, I'm not using my usual slicker brush on him today just because his hair is quite short. Um, and then literally go up the leg, dropping your line and going all the way up till you know he's completely <laughs> um, not free along there. And then you'd, once you get to this stage, you want to go along across the body. So you're, you're kind of doing the lowest bit and moving up the body then, um, going in a line across the body. And once you've got across, you're going back up and doing it in small sections. That way, you know you're getting right down to the skin, you're getting all the under hair, undercoat on those double coated dogs, and that will really help you to, to get any knots out and to get any loose undercoat out. Um, that's just a really good, thorough technique. Um, obviously, not all dogs are gonna stand there for ages while you do it, so if you have to break it down into small sections, do one leg, take a break, do the, do the next leg or whatever. Just do what's comfortable and obviously don't ever force the dog. Chances are you're not gonna be able to always brush the entire dog top to bottom in one sitting, um, particularly if he is very knotty. But ideally, if you're doing this kind of, if you're brushing him every day, you won't get those big knots that will take ages to get out. And you know, you can have him brushed, you can have a dog this size brushed, um, in about 10 minutes if you're as long as you're keeping up to it every day it's when it gets left for a few days and you're having to get through tangles that's when it takes time and that's when it's sore for him and he starts to run away from the brush every time he sees it so the key thing is like i said before consistency regular brushing keep on top of it prevention is better than cure